Are you? Just gives me nostalgia. I didn't sign up to cry. Oh, this is gonna pop off and I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, could be the reason someone's deaf. Okay. Oh God. Hey, wait, no, I'm not gonna cry. I refuse. Hey, I'm Axel and welcome to my archive. This time I'm back with a three in one reaction video so that I can try and catch up on them a bit more. So this video is gonna feature three MVs by Agusti, starting with People Part 2, then Hegum, and then finally Amygdala. Because I'm gonna be doing three videos instead of one, I won't be doing my usual thing of where I watch the music video twice so that I can focus on the music video itself and then the lyrics because that's gonna take way too long with three videos. So unfortunately, I'm only gonna be watching each one once with the captions on at the same time whilst trying to digest what is going on in the music video. So I also have yet to check out his full album yet because I wanted to do these reactions first. But if you've already listened to his album and you have a favorite song, let me know what it is down below in the comments. As per usual, I will leave all the links to the original MVs and the songs themselves down below in the description. So remember to go and check out and support the original artists. But without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Okay, so the first one we're gonna react to is Saram part two or people part two featuring IU. Oh, okay, black and white. I like black and white music videos and photos in general. Nice ring. Okay, an old VHS. Are you? Just gives me nostalgia. It's writing. She has such a nice voice. Ooh. Oh. Yugi. Nice metaphor. He's singing. I like this pure, sort of, heavenly image going on. Very dreamy. IU is the perfect person to have on a song like this. A lot of warm colours now. like his station. We've seen him record and now make or like produce the song, I guess. Hmm. Both love and people are selfish, I agree. Oh, the doggo. Oh, I like that black guitar. I like the lot of soft little notes in the background. This chorus is so beautiful. Nice ad lib. This shots are so beautiful. Whoa, he's very bright in that pool scene. He's so good at writing lyrics. Oh. 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 
Yeah, Yoongi's lyricism. Lyricism? Lyricism. Lyricism. It's lyricism. You know this word. It is lyricism. Never mind. Oh my god. English is hard. <laughs> Either way, he's very good at writing lyrics, is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, it just ends like that. I didn't sign up to cry. Oh no, they're just gonna leave it like that. Oh god. Well, I really like that song. I stand by what I said about how IU has the perfect voice for a song like this. Very soft, very gentle. It goes really well with the heavenly and dreamy camera shots and the effects that they had going on with the slight blur in the background or the foreground, depending on the angle they had going on. I like the metaphor of the sun castle about how you can build it up and you can make it strong to withstand the waves or the tides and stuff, but eventually like you are the cause of it like breaking down, like if you don't place it in a good enough spot, if you don't put enough water in, it collapses because you're not giving it the thing it needs to hold itself up. So I like that metaphor a lot. A lot to do with like the fragility of love. And as he said, oh my god, at the end when he was like COVID, like when COVID happened, he thought he like lost everything. It really did impact a lot of people's lives. Okay, well I hope not all of his songs are like this because otherwise it's going to be a roller coaster of emotions. But let's check out the next one, which is Hegum. Now I know that Hegum is a traditional musical instrument in Korea. Um, but I did also look up the dictionary meaning of it as well and it said it was something to do with the lift of a ban or something which I guess can relate to freedom being set free and stuff as well. So I guess we'll see which meaning of the word it is or maybe it's both, I guess we'll find out because as we've just seen in the previous music video Yoongi is very good at creating metaphors and having wordplay in his lyrics. I'm already looking at the thumbnail of this music video and it looks crazy. It reminds me of Deshita already and that is one of my favourite music videos and songs in general that Agassi has done. Other than Agassi Agassi because that song changed my life. <laughs> I love the look of Korea. And yet again, we have a lot of rustic colors. Oh my God, okay, this reminds me of Deshita. This is like a modern day Deshita. Okay, they're going into a restaurant of sorts. Oh, just all these chopsticks. I don't know the meaning of that in Korea, if it has a meaning. Oh. I love the traditional sound. Oh, this is gonna pop off and I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah. It's too warm for this right now. Oh, guys, I'm not gonna make it. Oh god, this outfit. Freedom of expression, there you go. Oh, could be the reason for someone's death. Okay. He's not wrong. Ooh, these lyrics go hard. Oof, nice switch for the flow. I love his hair. Oh god, the police are here. 
If he has so much money, he can just throw it around like it's nothing. <laughs> okay! I love how he's very carefree, like he finds everything funny. Oh, do we have a scar again? Oh. Speak your truth. Oh my god. Wait, it's him shooting himself again. Okay, I'm loving this base. Are you gonna do it? Oh. His music videos are just always crazy. Wait, it literally is the exact same scar, is it not? Oh my god! He's waterboarding him. And then we're just back into it! By the way, I'm sorry if I've not looked at the camera much. There's so much going on, I'm trying to read everything at the same time. <laughs> this is crazy! But it definitely does remind me a lot of Deshita so much. Okay, so he actually died in this one. Well, his other self died. Okay, he's in the police car, but he's not like... Yeah, he's not like captured or anything. He's back at the restaurant. Is he gonna pull out the chopsticks? There's no way, right? Crazy, he's just done all that, like, yep, just another day. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh god, guys. Going from people part two to this. Okay, I'm saying it straight away, I prefer this way more. Pretty much any song Yoongi has done, I've liked, but I will say that this sound for him the aggression and the way he just like tears people apart and like ideals apart in his verses other than his flow it is one of my favorite things about him as an artist he just lays it all out and says here you go do with that what you wish once i learn this song and listen to this song more this could rival deshita like a lot i definitely think they're connected they have to be connected because first of all, there's two of him yet again. One of him has the scar again, just like in Deshita. They had the gun again, just like in Deshita, shooting him. But he didn't actually die in Deshita, I don't think. Wait, no, he did. Oh wait, did we see it? I don't know if we saw it or not. The more casual clothes shooting the traditional guy at the end. And in this one, yet again, it was the more casual clothes shooting the guy who was dressed up in the suit. Yet again, is that like him going against someone of power, showing like the rebellion against like government and all that? Okay, it's gonna be hard for the third song to beat that, but let's get into it. I will say I will need to fully go through and read the lyrics of Hegum because he was spitting the entire time basically. I There's no way I had a chance to read and digest everything that he said. So I'll need to go back in my own time and go through that and be even more mind blown than I currently am. Yet again, judging just off of the thumbnail for the music video, I think it's gonna be another crazy ride. So buckle yourselves in guys. Before we get into the reaction, I just wanna mention some basic functions of the amygdala. So the amygdala is a part of the brain mostly responsible for processing emotions that can be either positive or negative emotions. However, it is usually associated with fear.
fear, such as the fight or flight response. Then it stores the information from the emotions as memories, so that in the future, those memories can help a person recognize a setting or an event that is similar or elicits the same emotions and can help inform their decisions. Okay, content warning guys, trigger warning. Um, it says the following content may contain topics related to suicide or self-harm. So if these topics are triggering to you, I would advise you to not watch this. You know your limits do what you think is best for you. I'm nervous for this now. Okay, quite dreamy again. I'm loving this monochrome color scale. He's beautiful. Wait, this isn't, this isn't a story about like the accident he had, right? Oh God. Oh no, it is. Oh God, okay. It's having like an out of body interaction. Oh God. Okay. Oh, that's how the scar. Hey, wait, no, I'm not gonna cry, I refuse. Lyrics aside, the song is very beautiful. Now I know that amygdala is a part, a section of the brain that can process feelings and emotions, I think. So maybe he's like hoping that that part of his brain will forget everything that happened, or like save him from it. Oh God. Oh my god, he had to deal with so much. Oh my god, him crawling to the door, dude. Sorry, I feel like I've not said anything worthy of like noting, but that's because I'm flabbergasted, honestly. <laughs> the imagery in this music video is important though and he's expressed it really well the shots were amazing oh my god okay i'm like kind of glad that i didn't do separate videos for these because if i had to watch that a second time 
Oh my god. First off, I want to say that it is extremely brave of him to put out a song like this. I guess the first thing I will say is that I am thankful that he is still here. It just proves how strong of a man he is, that he went through all of that and he is still here pursuing his dreams and living his life. Okay, in terms of, let's talk about the music video because if I talk about the lyrics, oh my god, I'm... Oof. But in terms of the music video, um, the colours were very dull, a lot of black and grey, apart from the uh, motorcycle incident. Obviously the rain can symbolise a lot of things in this case. Obviously the knife and the pills is self-explanatory, but it showed and portrayed the emotions really well. For those of you that don't know, I'm pretty sure the motorcycle thing he was a delivery driver and he got into an accident and I'm pretty sure that caused him a shoulder injury that he still sometimes has issues with to this day. At least I, I think it's that one. If I'm wrong, please correct me. In terms, of, in terms of the sound of the song itself, I think it's very beautiful. Um, I preferred it more than the People Part 2 one. I don't know if that's just because this was more emotional and therefore it's like going from the order of the music videos I have is crazy. I guess I'm, I am glad I did this one last though because if I did this music video first and then to go from this sort of feeling into the feeling that I had when I watched Hegum would have been crazy. So I guess watching things in chronological order is good. <laughs> this just makes me very intrigued to check out his full album now because as I said, this man is really good in terms of his writing, his imagery, his metaphors, his messages that he wants to portray. He's very solid in all of that. And obviously producing and like the actual instrumentals themselves. He's crazy. The ideas he comes up with and melodies he comes up with are insane. And it's sort of showcased in all three of these here and any of his other works really. Whew, okay, so as I said, I have not checked out the album yet, but if you have and you already have a favourite song, well, it can be any of these that I watched today or any new ones that are on the album, uh, let me know what your favourite was and once I've checked out the entire album, I will add a comment somewhere where I tell you guys my favourite song from the album. If there's anything else you would like me to react to, then you can leave suggestions down below in the comments and I'll go through and read some of them and I may end up picking yours. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by dropping a like, leaving a comment down below, or even sharing this video to your friends, family, or other people you think might be interested in it. If you want to see more stuff from me in general, then consider subscribing to my channel. It's free and you can always change your mind later, so don't feel pressured. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. No.